Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the another session. My name is Zubair Zedi. Learners, in this video lecture, I'm going to talk about the essential device we use in our local area network, campus network, enterprise network, or maybe small type network, the switch device. In this video, I'll be covering some key points uh, like what is a switch work, the CAM table or MAC address table, and how does it perform the frame switching? So let's get started. All right. Then let's have a look at this topology here. We have a switch here that is connected to PCA, PCP, PCC, and PCD. All of the devices has their MAC address uh, written on your screen. Now, what I want, I want that PCA has some data to forward PCD. So at the layer two, it will be using a frame and it will be making a layer to header by adding its own MAC address inside the frame, which is 1111 here and the destination MAC address, which is PCT MAC address. The frame has been generated. It will forward to the switch device, the switch, it receives the frame. Now what happens when the switch receives the frame? Everybody, whenever the switch receives the frame, it de-encapsulates the layer to header and looks. it looks what is the source MAC address. So it found the source MAC address is this one. Now it is going to add that MAC address inside its CAM table or MAC address on the interface, which is zero slash one on your screen. Now what next? Now the switch is going to perform the uh, forward the frame. So in order to forward the frame, again, it will be looking in uh, the uh, layer to frame or header, what is the destination MAC address. And in order to forward the frame, it again, it looks its CAM table or MAC address table. So as of now, this MAC address, I mean PCT MAC address, we don't have inside the MAC address table. Now it will perform the unknown unicast flooding. What does it mean? It means the switch makes the copy of the frame and it will forward that frame, uh, you know, on its, all active interfaces except the one interface where was the switch uh, the frame was received. So this process is called the unknown unicast flooding. Now, PCP, PCT, they will drop the frame. We know why because the destination MAC address was the PCT MAC address. PCT has received the frame now. It is going to perform the reply communication by making the layer to header. And again, what is the source MAC address? It uses its own MAC address and destination MAC address is gonna be PCA MAC address. So frame has been generated. The frame is sent to again, PC, excuse me, switch. And now the frame again, the switch has learned the frame on its interface zero slash four. Now, you know what to do. The switch is going to learn the frame by de-encapsulating the layer to header and will add that MAC address inside its CAM table on the interface zero slash four. Learn the MAC address. Now again, it is going to uh, forward the frame by looking what is the destination MAC address. The destination MAC address is PC A MAC address. And again, in order to forward the frame, it will be looking at its CAM table. And as of now, this MAC address already exists here inside the CAM, at, uh, CAM table to the interface zero slash one. It means the switch is going to perform the unicast communication at, as it knows where to forward the frame. So in the reply communication, it is going to perform the unicast communication. So learners, Simple work of my switch, whenever it receives the frame, it learn the source MAC address inside the CAM table on the interface. And whenever it wants to switch the frame, it looks the destination MAC address, it's CAM table and perform the unknown unicast and unicast communication. So this is all about uh, the work of switch. I hope this video has been informative for you. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.